What's happened? Uh, hey, um, it's me. I got your number without asking. Are you still at the space station? We haven't said farewell yet. The station's launching a program called Project Revival. If you have time, um, I'd like to ask for some help. Uh-oh, my phone credits for this month are running out. This is the last message. Come, I'll be waiting. Okay, sure. Why not? We'll be back. Sure. Can we go here? Just for a bit, I guess. It's getting late. Where to now? <gasps> Wait! Wait! There's a puppy! <gasps> if only I got paid more. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Hold on, hold on. I need a nice... Oh! Hold on. Hold on. Picture. It's adorable! Hold on, hold on. It's so cute! Wait, what's this? Eh, it's looking at me. Wait! How do you take picture? F? Oh, it's adorable! Oh, we're there! There you go! Everything is ordained by the stars. Ooh, what do you do? Um, what do you do technically? Skill, um, that and then that. Ultimate. Increases SPD, what's SPD? Of all allies by 36 for two turn. You know what, sure, why not? Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Ooh. Now that was pretty. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go with you. <laughs> oh, let's go. My turn. You can still walk away. What do you do with this? Whoa, hold on. Do that. Oh. Do that. Calm your body in mind. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I the found. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. I think I found my Honkai Star Rail crush. Let's do this. We're finally going to progress to the story. Let's do it. So, have you thought things through? Still have something to talk to you, talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Speak your mind. Thank you. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. You've done Thanks. me a huge favor by defending the space station from the Antimatter Legion. And know that while Herta may not admit it, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return. <laughs> and it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? True. How about we continue talking on the express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. Yeah, sure. Have you taken care of everything you need? <laughs> I was ready ages ago. <sighs> I've been here so many times before. It should have just been an ordinary trip for me. Yeah. But everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking the same path over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. Hmm, okay. Uh, what the next step of the Porta Express? As always, to follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Sometimes we stop on other worlds and we'll continue to do so. There are countless next stops in the galaxy. I love the vast reaches of space, and the Express does too. I want to seek out new worlds, and the Express wants to return to its former path. Why well, invite me to Because join. you're different. Hmm. Because of the Stellaron? Well, that might be the biggest reason. It's not the only one. Hmm. I think you need a chance. A chance to discover just how different you really are from everyone else. Everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you. But hmm. that's already plain as day to you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herta or anybody, it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. Hmm. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron, and to know who you really are. 
Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. The Stellaron might still be an enigma, but the fact of the matter is, it's a part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. Okay. No so, more question. Have you thought things through? Sure. Then come with me. I can do it. The way to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Oh, time to get on. Till we make it. I mean, the mission directed me here. So. <laughs> Take the journey. <laughs> oh. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. <laughs> Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Okay. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. Okay. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. I mean, he... It has a good point. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but still. Has a good point, though. All right. Open that up. Ooh. Sure. Sure. And then sure. Okay. We're in level eight. What is this? Oh, after completing. Okay. Hmm. Here already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? Hmm. Where's March 7th? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Hmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Oh, okay. Don, Don Hong. Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. Okay. Mark Seven's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. Okay. Phone number? You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. Oh, that one? That also got modified a bit. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Uh, okay. All right, so do this. Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. Okay. I'm not gonna play all of them. Wait. Can we not? Wait. Okay. That's good enough. Wait, 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 can I turn that off? Well. Okay. Might not be too bad. Visit Dan Hung's room. Okay. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm. 
Who's there? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I haven't even. Known. I learned to sense incoming visitors after people kept barging in so frequently. <laughs> March. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I go to death instead of the Dan Hong. Okay. Can I help you? I'm looking Feel around. Free. This is open to everyone on the express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled Akivili. along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the express. Okay. I enter the collected data into the archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the express encounters and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the data bank. Hmm. Do give it a go. Oh, do give it a go. That's what he said. Okay. Ooh. There. View character detail. Okay. Oh, this is where you see it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's all good. I'll leave and then March 7th. You know, but there's the no door response. is unlocked. Should I go in? Oh, Just pink. one look should be fine, right? The, at least the MCs, MC have more. The MC here has more talk. Oh my gosh! More cuteness here. Hello. Tour around. Okay. How about this one? The, her room is so cute. Okay. This is cute. Aw. She's taking pictures of Dan Hong. Cute. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention all passengers. Attention all passengers. <laughs> The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. All right. There's March. Uh, there you are. Wait, this is your first trip. So that should be double the excitement, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> I was excited the first time I experienced a warp jump, too. But I'm used to it now. Don't worry, you'll get used to it too. And before you know it, you'll be a mature and dependable passenger just like me. I have no idea if you're mature, dependable. The first step is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. You can't just grab something like that. Well, it is a little abstract, but basically you just need to pinpoint what's bothering you. Okay. The second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. Okay. Is this some sort of... No, no, this one. Seems like you're a natural. It's not easy to reach this level of enlightenment. Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might. Okay. Well, I cast really? it all out. I've never been able to do it successfully myself. Yay. What does it feel like? Like all your worries have been swept away? Yep. Ah, wobble, wobble, wobble. But let's talk to everyone What's first. wrong? You look like you were about to say something. Oh, I think I know what you're going to ask. You've come to the right person. Ooh, the you want to know more about the Express? I'm glad. After all, it's an important companion of ours. The Astral Express hmm. was a tool created by Akivili the Trailblaze, who used it to transport themselves and the Nameless across the galaxy. It is rumored that there are other vehicles like it, but the Express has no such records. When hmm. I found the Express, its memory had been severely damaged, with much of its valuable information lost. All I know is that the Express is an aspect of creation built by Akivili themselves and used to travel the cosmos. 
Hmm. As for how it was built and how it was damaged, I do not have an answer. The Express is traveling on a route that the Trailblaze once embarked on. The names of some destinations have been lost, but the first and final stops were both at Pagana, Akuvili's home world. We speculate the Astral Express started its journey from Pagana, stopping at each destination along the way before returning there for its next journey. However, the appearance of the Stellaron has caused a delay at each stop. Hmm. There's a legend in the galaxy. The heart of Akivili themselves lies in the core of the Astral Express, providing it with the power to travel between worlds. But I found no evidence of that aboard the Express. Sorry. Besides, the Express existed before the Trailblaze fell. There's no way they could have had two hearts, right? However, it is likely that the Express possesses some sort of mechanism to transfer power from the Trailblaze. Hmm. It wouldn't be possible with a normal path strider. Okay, about the this. The fallen eon, deceased Trailblaze. Their passing is still a mystery, but of all the known eons, Akivili was the closest to mankind. Hmm. In the data bank aboard the Express, it is recorded that they walked among the mortals, adventuring, fighting, and celebrating with them. Although they were an eon restrained by the Prima Mobile, Akivili enjoyed a freedom similar to us mortals. Hmm. They were different from most. But their passing came so suddenly that it was thought they were killed by another eon. I don't believe that to be the case. Hmm. Another. The galaxy. <laughs> the galaxy is endlessly vast. I wouldn't know where to begin, especially when you ask me like that so suddenly. Hmm. The nature. <laughs> I've been to many different worlds, yet I still know very little about the galaxy, simply because it's too vast. As for its nature, there are a few theories that I can share with you. Okay. The most popular is probably the Cosmos Tree Theory, proposed by Xandar, emanator of erudition and the first member of the Genius Society. He compared the galaxy to an enormous imaginary tree, with its leaves being individual universes. Okay. Therefore, only oh. eons who draw their energy from the imaginary the whole and thing emanators sorry. who are blessed by eons can travel through the spaces filled with imaginary energy. That's why planets where civilizations exist are so similar. However, the theory has its flaws. Elias Salas, the 56th member of the Genius Society, invented remote detection, disproving that the imaginary is unique. This shook the foundation of the cosmos tree theory. There are other theories as well. The stretching theory, Jeez, the so heat torch theory, and the parallel imaging theory. The Riddlers claim the galaxy is just a dream, and IX's followers seem to like that claim. Eon. Eons are the most mysterious beings in the galaxy. All we know is that they ascended from the form of intelligent beings. As for the how and why, even the geniuses over at the Genius Society haven't the slightest clue. Upon ascending to Eonhood, that being gains power over the paths, free to choose the allocation of imaginary energy however they wish, while suffering the restrictions of the Prima Mobile. Hmm. The Eon Mobile? of Destruction seeks only to destroy the universe, while the Eon of Erudition wants to find the answer for all that exists. Meanwhile, the Eon of Preservation continues to forge walls, and the Eon of Enigmata devotes itself to obscuring all that is known. A cloud of mystery shrouds the eons. I heard Madame Herta recruited a team to try and solve the mysteries about them. Hmm. Faction? Compared to the eons, the factions are much easier to understand. Mortals with the same objective gather together to practice their understanding of eons and paths. Many eons are unreachable, but the factions are close to us. After Akivili trailblazed across the galaxy, people became aware of the existence of other worlds. Gradually, more people started trying to use the, the Interastral oh, Peace Corporation as a good example. They worship Klopoth, the Eon of Preservation, but somehow became the largest economic entity in the galaxy. 
Another example is the Genius Society. There are no shortages of eccentrics like Madame Herda who dedicate themselves to scientific research under the protection of the erudition. These factions erudition. possess the same power as us to voyage between worlds. It would be hard to travel through the galaxy without them. Hmm. Path. The birth of an eon gives rise to a path. The nature of the paths remains a mystery, leaving us to draw an analogy in a way that mortals can understand. It's a philosophical concept of sorts. Hmm. A person is considered to be on a path when their will overlaps with that path. If the person has a strong enough will, they can draw power from that path. Those who can do so are called path striders. Path striders possess extraordinary power, but are still insignificant compared to the eons, like a drop of water in a vast ocean. Sometimes eons will bestow a mortal with their power, making them an emanator of that eon. I should mention hmm. that once a path is open, it cannot be closed, even with the fall of its eon. That is how we are still able to travel across the stars, despite Akivili's passing. Okay. Trailblaze. Trailblaze is our mission, and the source of strength that powers the Express to travel across the galaxy. Oh, okay. Exploration. Explore the unknown world to continue our journey ahead. Wow, I have so many questions. She has so many knowledge. Oh, okay. Understand the local culture and immerse ourselves within it. At least this is shorter. Establish a connection with the new world. Rejoice with it and share in its fears. Connect worlds together, carving an endless path. Okay, I'm good. Thank you for all of that. I may have not paid attention to some of that, but still, we're good. I want to talk to you, handsome. This is your first time experiencing the warp jump, so a little discomfort is unavoidable. If you're really anxious about it, I can stay here and have a chat with you. Oh. Oh, geez. About everyone on the Express? Uh, who would you like to know about? Himeko. <laughs> She's the owner of the Express. We joke around calling Pom Pom the conductor, but everyone knows Himeko is the boss. It all started with her encounter with the Astral Express, and they haven't been apart since then. Hmm. She's extremely passionate, like a... A burning sun. Hmm. However, she remains mysterious most of the time. Once in a while, you feel that she's burning herself out trying to accomplish her dream. Aww. Only someone like her is worthy of the Astral Express. I think Himiko's vision of her whole life revolves around uh, a very important dream. Mm hmm. Pom Pom. To be honest, I don't know when Pom Pom appeared. Uh, I think it was before I came to the Express. No, wait, maybe it was after. <laughs> Pom Pom is like the spirit of the Astral Express. Whenever anyone on the Express needs help, they will appear immediately. It would be ill-advised to underestimate them. Pom okay. Pom is terrifying when they get angry. They, okay. Yes. It's terrifying. We'll just go with they. Dan Hung. Dan Hung is a lonely child. Okay, that's too he honest. He may appear distant and cold, but his heart is kind. Perhaps he's the way he is today because he spent so much time on the run. Sometimes he reminds me of myself when I was young. Hmm. He used to work at the Xianzhou. We don't know what he's running from. He once told me that he didn't know either. All he knew was that something was chasing him and that he had to run. Aww. So he boarded the ship of a troop called the Morning Actors and escaped the IPC. After a while, he made his way to the Express and he's stayed here longer than anywhere else. Hmm. Don't worry. No matter who or what wants to hurt Don Hung, we Aww. won't let them. Those who dare attack members of the Astral Express should be prepared to suffer the wrath of me and Himiko. You two are great um, partners. Not, I'm not, I was about to say couple, but you're not couple. Partners. And I think this, is, this was the one with the blade in the trailer. I don't know. 
March 7th. Did Himiko tell you about March 7th? Um, she was trapped in ice, floating through space. We happened upon her and rescued her. Really? What? It was a unique type of ice known as six-phased ice, a substance that adheres to imaginary law, meaning that external forces cannot change its form. Mmm, I didn't know that. Whoever sealed her inside the six-phased ice, no matter who it is, did so either to protect her or banish her. Oh my gosh. I believe she had been floating through space for some time. Another question. Stellar. It's impossible to trace the origins of this phenomenon. When it's observed by humans, or should I say, once it begins to affect the physical world, it's already too late to reverse. Mm. It's like a sudden storm that appears on a calm ocean. Your voice is relaxing, I just want to say. This phenomenon causes mm -hmm. the smooth journey through the expanse to be filled with dangers. The mechanism whereby this mutation and corrosion spreads is the Stellarons. It promulgated rapidly like cancer cells. So the International Peace Corporation named it the cancer of all worlds. Did, did, is, did he say international? Because this is not how you spell it. How about antimatter? They region? are the army ruled by the eon of destruction, Nanook. Hmm. As Nanook's followers, they stand against all life and civilization and execute the will of destruction, disseminating chaos and calamity. Their hmm. actions cannot be explained by reason, because their only motivation and purpose is to destroy. Fragment Fragmentums are a phenomenon of corrosion. The mainstream school of thought is that Stellarons catalyzed the appearance of fragmentums. All matter and space that comes into contact with the fragmentum will be turned into fragmentum creations. Mm. However, you don't have to feel too burdened. At the very least, the current state of the Stellaron in your body is very stable and will not cause distortion to the outside. Okay, no question. All right, let's see what's going on with this one here. You're still wobbly. You're still wobbly. Okay. <sighs> you took long enough. Yeah. But at least everyone's here now. I don't see Dan Hung, but okay. He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh, you're nice to him at least. Oh yeah, take these. What's this? A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Yeah. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. That's not the same dialogue, but okay. Um, oh, you get the stuff from this one, okay. Oh, you're almost like Catherine in a way. Okay. Take it. Okay. Take it. We got so many. All right. Okay. More. And more. Okay. We're good. <laughs> All right. Okay, everyone, hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always running around the express like a headless chicken. Nah. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. Okay. The voyage continues complete. Yay! Add friends, receive support, and come. Uh, challenge strong enemies. Okay. Turn on your phone and the. He just pushed me away. They just pushed me away. Open friends. Okay. View friends. Cool. Cool. All right. All right. Wait for the jump. Wait, where? Where? Oh, okay. Are you ready to move on to the next planet? Yep. What's the next stop for the express? Let's do that. Oh, wait, 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 move the that. Universe. The Astral Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing in my Are body? You <laughs> <to> the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. 
But... It wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. Aww. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. Hmm. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Rescue from the ice? The whole crew was watching you? Uh-huh. Like I was some kind of weird alien. I don't really blame them for being curious, though. They had no idea where I came from. You might not believe it, but before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. That's what Wilt told me. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Hmm. How do you get frozen? Do you remember what happened before you were frozen? I don't remember a thing. Is that true? Who I am? Where I'm from? My name? It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Oh, really? Oh, I was wondering why your name is that. Like a date. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day I can find my past. Hmm, I hope so too. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? Hmm, I'm sorry. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. True. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Okay. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Okay. Uh, ah. thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself and falls <laughs> over every time. Uh, That's just called never giving up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Head on the uh, sofa we're jumping and wait. in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. Okay, let's just sit. Wait, let's talk. Oh, don't worry about me. I just want to see if I can stay on my feet this time. Oh my gosh. Don't hurt yourself. It's fine. I'm sturdier than I look. Besides, the ice will protect me. When I'm in danger, mm -hmm. I instinctively create ice to protect myself. Though, sometimes falling on the ice actually hurts more than falling on the ground. You seem well, like don't it. mind me. Find a place to sit down and buckle up. How about you? All right. Just March 7th? Okay. How about you? Our next stop is a small planet called Eurilo 6. It's been hmm. thousands of years since the last time the Express paid a visit. The databank shows it was a lush and beautiful place. But after all this time... It's possible that dramatic changes have occurred. Okay, what about you? Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them after a few more. As for the mechanism, oh, well, if you're interested, I'll explain it to you in detail when we have more time. For now, okay. just sit and wait. Remember to close your eyes. It helps with the dizziness. Okay. What happened to the phone here? Oh, we'll think of that the other time. Let's do this. Let's do it. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, what? Well then. Oh. That was nice. After all those millennia, 
Is this what your Relo 6 has become? Oh, uh, is that not good? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Hmm. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Oh. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Hmm. Anomaly? Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Hmm. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? Yeah. If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. Well, why is it? Come on. Thank you. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Oh, Stellaron. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. What should we do? Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. but. At least we know how to neutralize their influences. The animation. The only nice. thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. Hmm. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Uriello 6 becoming a frozen planet. Hmm. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. So you're saying, why can't the people in the world affected save themselves? So we're like the chivalrous band of cosmic knights. Let's go there. Right! You finally get what we're all about! Pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. Yay. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Okay. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Alright. Uh... You're not coming? Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Uh. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. Oh. So it's still not our turn. Oh, uh, he wants to go out? I know, you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. <laughs> March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Okay. Cool. All right, we're gonna be starting this in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry uh, I, I played too long, but um, my thing is all messed up. So I'm gonna rest here on out. But thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.